It has been a minute, but we are here back for the 2023 Formula One World Championship season, and we are here for round four, which will take place in Singapore. And at the moment, championship leader Sergio Perez will have to worry because the Red Bull will be getting a nerf this weekend, just like in real life. So maybe we will not see Red Bull fly through the field as quickly as they did in Miami, which is not good news for Verstappen, who is basically an outsider at this point in the championship fight. He's gonna need a big, big day. Meanwhile, it is a golden opportunity for people like Leclerc, Sainz, Hamilton, and even Stroll, who is somehow in the championship fight in the Aston Martin, having receiving most of the good strategic cores at Aston Martin, Stroll really proving that he may have what it takes to fight at the front. But let's have a look at the starting grid here in Singapore and Charles Leclerc on pole ahead of George Russell, Fernando Alonso and Lewis Hamilton in fourth, McLaren get Piastri up in fifth and Norris in seventh, Stroll does a good job in P6, Williams lock out the fifth row, great performance for them, meanwhile Haas who have not scored a point line up in 11th and 13th, maybe this will be their day, Alpha Tari and Alfa Romeo having a disappointing showing, meanwhile the two Red Bulls as usual at the back of the grid but not in a very fast car as usual and they're gonna have to try and negotiate these conditions in the wet so can red bull get through the field we'll find out as we have up to five red lights here in singapore and we are underway in a wet Singapore Grand Prix and Leclerc has gotten away well trying to cover off George Russell before turn one. Leclerc's got the start sorted. Meanwhile, further behind, look at Alonso attacking Russell and overtaking him. Fernando Alonso up into P2, Russell down in third, Piastri in fourth and Hamilton down to fifth. Charles Leclerc leads the way ahead of Alonso, then Russell in third. On board here with the two-time world champion Verstappen looking to try and get through the field. Same with Checo up ahead and Verstappen down the inside of the championship leader. That is an interesting one. Wouldn't Red Bull want to help Checo in a situation like this? Well, clearly Verstappen has no problem overtaking his teammate. He is absolutely flying here. Onto lap two we go. Verstappen looking to overtake Logan Sargent here. Round the outside at turn five. Can he get that done? Not quite. Good defense there from the Williams, but Verstappen will do a switch back. Turn on the overtake. And now, through he goes into P13. And unlike his teammate, Perez hasn't been able to make any inroads in the first two laps, but down the inside of Pierre Gasly. And that is one hell of a dive bomb from the championship leader. Charles Leclerc reporting that the rain has stopped here and teams are getting ready in the pit lane. This could be a very crucial part of the Grand Prix for Charles Leclerc. Will Ferrari be able to deliver? Into the pit lane he goes. Alonso, Russell, Hamilton, Norris, everyone is going into the pit lane. Leclerc will put on the soft tyre and will he be held up? He will, he will, but they'll get underway in good time and I think Ferrari have done exactly what they've needed to do to get Leclerc to stay in the lead. Fernando Alonso got held up a lot. As you can see, Russell is ahead and Lando Norris is also ahead of the two. On board with Stroll, he'll have DRS now that has now been activated now that it has dried up and Piastri really struggling on those hard tyres. Cannot do a thing about Stroll who goes through. Great move there from the Canadian. Meanwhile, further back, we are looking at Max Verstappen, but there's a car going slowly in front of him, and it is Nico Hulkenberg, who was running in P10 before pitting in. He's got a puncher, and it is absolute heartbreak for Haas, who were looking to get a points finish here today. We've got a bit of team radio here from the two-time world champion. Let's hear what he has to say. I'm sorry, but I cannot drive for these outfits. What the f*** is this? And the frustration is really setting in for the Red Bull man as he is not used to being in a car so impossible to drive. He cannot even catch up to Alex Albon at the moment. And conceding the lead, Charles Leclerc, who is boxed in quite early. He will not be able to get to the end on those mediums. However, those fresh tyres will be crucial. And talking of crucial, here comes Leclerc. Science should jump out of the way for his teammate. Yes, he will. Charles Leclerc down the inside of his teammate. And surely the teams around him will be looking at that tyre advantage and start thinking about pitting. 
Here we go, on board with Leclerc. He's already caught up to Alonso. And effectively, he is now a pit stop ahead of Alonso and George Russell, who can do nothing to defend. And if you're still staying up at this point, you're making a huge error. McLaren have seen that, and they've pitted in Lando Norris onto the soft tyre. But George Russell really struggling for pace here. Surely, pitting is the right option. And talking of the right option, here comes Lando Norris on Piastri, who just cannot get those hard tyres fired up, and is now way out of sync in this Grand Prix. And finally, George Russell in the pit lane. And now I'm going to show you the tyre advantage that you gain on new tyres. Hamilton is staying out, getting overtaken by the Aston Martin of Stroll. George Russell will be in the pit lane. And if we skip forward, here's Hamilton now finishing the lap. And you'll notice there is a car behind him. And that car is George Russell. He has gained nearly a pit stop margin on his own teammate. Mercedes have really thrown this away for both of their cars. They can maybe still salvage George. But Hamilton has been truly ruined by the strategy here tonight. And that is not a good sign for his championship hopes. Now, science right behind Max Verstappen, who will not be able to do much to defend. Verstappen pitted about 10 laps ago and is really struggling on that soft tyre. And science down the inside of the Red Bull. And it's a second race in a row where Verstappen is really struggling. And for the second race in a row, Lewis Hamilton will have the absolute pleasure of overtaking Verstappen on the straight. DRS enabled and it ain't even close. Hamilton up into P8. Verstappen down into P9, and it's a nightmare for Red Bull, who cannot get anything going today. Leclerc in the pit lane. Leclerc is in the pit lane on lap 25. That is a risky move from Ferrari. Maybe Leclerc just couldn't manage the tyres enough. And now, out of the pit lane he goes, behind George Russell. Lando Norris is now in the lead of the Grand Prix, ahead of Alonso, then Leclerc who's already trying to overtake the Mercedes down the inside at turn five. Russell will not do much about it, but Leclerc should have a big enough advantage to catch. Here comes Leclerc, already all over the back of the Aston Martin of Fernando Alonso, and that tyre advantage is insane. Alonso will try and use a bit of battery to pull a gap so Leclerc can maybe not think about overtaking on the straight, but look at the closing speed. Leclerc will move to the left hand side and he'll get past the Aston Martin, surely going into turn seven, down the inside. Fernando Alonso could do nothing about it. He will have a look down the inside at the next right hander, but it ain't enough for him. Leclerc up into P2 and it's inevitable he will catch Norris. We haven't even finished lap number 26. So Claire goes to the right. He'll go to the left. Lando Norris will definitely be panicking here, knowing his tyres are shot. And Leclerc has only been on that tyre for two laps at the moment. There is absolutely no way that the McLaren can defend. Leclerc, round the outside at the final corner, as Lando Norris will retreat into the pit lane. Leclerc takes the lead. End of lap 29, and we're, we're seeing drivers going into the pit lane for the intermediate tyre. Leclerc has stayed out. It might start raining soon. It is raining now. It is raining in Singapore, and that is going to be a massive change in the final two laps. Can Leclerc maybe hang on to this lead? If it rains hard enough, George Russell could get the win tonight. He has had to tiptoe around the Marina Bay Street circuit on that soft tyre. The only car on the soft tyres right now. But luckily for him, it didn't rain too much. So now, round the final corner goes the Ferrari man. He will not only win the Singapore Grand Prix, but he will now take the lead of the World Championship going into the finale in Vegas. Charles Leclerc wins the Singapore Grand Prix. George Russell will be very happy to get a podium despite the poor strategy from Mercedes today. But Leclerc on top of the world and has a 20 point lead in the championship going into the finale. And that is a very cursed version of the Singapore Grand Prix podium in 2023. We've got George Russell and Leclerc joining Lando Norris on the podium here. Great drives from those three. And Leclerc has it all to lose in the championship finale. Verstappen can no longer win the championship. 
Thank you for watching today's video. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.